Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're solving a problem which has existed in Photoshop for some time now and it relates to not being able to choose the brush tip that you want for another tool such as for example the eraser tool. So let's see what we're doing here. I've got a regular document open. You'll see it's got a white background layer. I've got a brand new layer. I'm about to paint on it. Here is the paint. Let's just go and see what brush I have selected. Well let's actually go and select a brush. From the dry media brushes I'm selecting this one here. And now I'm going to start painting brushes too small, just using the close square bracket key to make it much bigger. So if I want to use this exact same brush tip for the eraser tool, let's just go and click on the eraser tool here. So I have got the eraser selected. I'm going up here and I want to select the same brush tip. So here's the brush tip that I have been using. So I'm going to click on it. But if you have a look over here, you'll see that I've lost my eraser. It's gone back to the brush tool. Now there is an explanation for why this is happening. Let's just go and have a look at that brush again. You'll see here that inside this brush, in this like the little box that shows its size and its tip, is this little brush here. And that tells you that this tip is meant to be used with the brush tool. In fact, if I hover over it, the tool tip that comes up is actually going to tell me that it's associated with the brush tool. So like it or not, I cannot select this tip and use it for the eraser because as soon as I click on it, it's going to be automatically associated with the brush tool. Now this one's been associated with the eraser. You can see it says eraser tool and it's got a little razor in the corner, which means also that I can't use it with a brush. So I can't use it to paint on color, I can use it to erase color. So some people have suggested that the solution for this problem is to go up here and to select clear. And now we're painting with that brush in clear mode. Yes, it works, but it's not ideal and it's not really my preferred solution because I would like to be able to use any of these brush tips for whatever tool I want, eraser or whatever. So let's see how we're going to do it. This is the tip that I was using. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going up here to this panel, which is the brush settings panel. And what I'm going to do from this fly out menu is choose to create a brand new brush preset. In other words, I'm duplicating this brush. But here's the problem with it. This is include tool settings. If I do that, it's always going to be associated with the brush tool. But conversely, if I disable this, it's freed from its association with the brush tool and it can do anything it likes. So I'm just going to call this any tool. So I'm pointing out to myself that it can be used with any tool, but I could tell that anyway, because if I go up to the brushes panel here, this is my brush and you can see it doesn't have its little brush icon in the corner. So I have duplicated this brush. All the settings are pretty much the same, except it's no longer associated with the brush tool, which means that I can use it with the eraser. So let's go back and find our eraser, click on it, click on this drop down list. These are my brushes. No indication here that it has to be used with any tool at all. Click on it and now it's associated with the eraser. We haven't lost our eraser setting. Just going to make my brush a little bit bigger and now it's operating as an eraser. So you can take any of the brushes that are shipped with Photoshop and all the new ones that are shipped with Photoshop, pretty much all of them are associated with tools. So if we go to, for example, the wet media brushes or these special effects brushes, all of those have got tools associated with them. Well, if you don't want the tool associated with them, just go and create a new brush preset for them making a duplicate effectively of this tip, but disassociate it from the tool that it is associated with so you can use it with anything at all. I hope this has helped you. I hope it's explained why the brushes are behaving the way they do and what you can do to create yourself the tips that you want that you can use with any tool at all. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.